Good morning, good morning, ladies. Um, we're gonna go live, so we're getting everything set up. Hope you're all doing well. Let me get my computer rebooted, ready to go. Sorry, y'all, my arm is right there. Hope you're all having a very blessed day. Good morning, Debbie. Boy, you're like right on it. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> get, get myself situated. Hope you're having a very blessed day so far. Oh, I'm trying to warm up. The weather here is nuts. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, the other day I was in a tank top and today I'm in long sleeves. So it's just, you just don't know. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. Hope you are all well. Hi, Diane. Yes, it's a sunny day here too, but it's cold. It's a little cold, chilly, a little chilly. See, I'm, I'm <laughs> pulling my shirt down. So Diane, how is Jory doing? I've been praying. Your daughter in love, how's she doing? Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, everybody. Glad you can join me. Um, today we're going to be working on these paper flowers. Not a new idea, y'all. I've seen these around forever, um, but uh, a lady in the junk journaling community called um, G Care, she um, just posted a video just recently doing these, and I totally forgot about them. And so when she posted, I was like, "Oh, these would be perfect since we are doing uh, our theme for the month is growth, and we're going to be using flowers in a lot of our." Um, I guess Bible journaling spreads. So these are perfect. They're versatile. You can use them for a lot of different things. So I'll show you how to make them. They're super, super easy. So it's going to be a quick live this morning. Um, but we can hang out, chat, talk, craft. Y'all can craft along with me. So Diane, Joy's okay. Oh gosh, she's got another surgery on Monday. Okay, I'll be praying for that. Yeah, I can't even imagine. So I'm praying for comfort and quick healing. And whew. Yes. Yes, Cindy, this is a crocodile. This is only if you want to put eyelets in your flowers. The, a lot of the um, tools and such that we'll be using, the materials are the same um, materials that we used for our love clips. So if you have those tools or the, that material, it's, it's almost the same thing. We're just going to use them in a different way. So you don't have to get anything new or anything like that. So, yes, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Okay, well, people will join us as we go. Um, we'll just open in a quick prayer, um, and then we'll continue from there. So, Lord, thank you so much for this bright and beautiful day. I am um, just so happy and just glad that we can spend this time together with you. And even though we're just crafting, we're not really in our Bibles today, um, I just pray that this brings glory to your name and that anything we do, like our day-to-day -day lives, that we anything that we are doing, whether it's from housework or cooking or crafting or talking to friends or whatever, that all of it is bringing glory to you, Lord, and that we're putting you first in our lives, no matter what we do. Um, thank you for this time together. I thank you for the, these blessed moments. I thank you for for the fellowship that we have between the ladies um, and the other people, you know, watching us and um, joining in on these um, Bible journaling crafts and. Lord, I pray for all the people in our group who are fighting medical issues, um, depression issues, uh, family issues, marriage issues, money issues. There's so many things going on, Lord. I pray that you bring them comfort, health, healing. Just wrap them in your arms, surround them with your love, and just overflow their lives with the sense of peace, that overwhelming peace that we know that you can give, Lord. Um, I'm praying specifically for Jory, um, for her comfort, for her for quick healing, and for her upcoming uh, surgery on Monday, Lord. Um, just be with her, be with the doctors, give them the knowledge that they need. And um, again, comfort and oh, peace through the whole situation, Lord. Um, again, just bless this time and we thank you and we praise your marvelous name. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Welcome. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you. Okay. So 
we're gonna be making these uh, paper flowers. So there's a variety of ways you can make them, but they're all the same uh, basic put together. So it's super, super easy, y'all. Um, again, I just wanna reiterate, not my idea, not my original idea. I mean, I've seen these around, like I said, for years. And then just recently, G Care, she's a lady in the junk journaling community who put up a video that reminded me of um, how to do these. I was like, oh yeah, we can do this. This would be perfect for our group since we're gonna be doing flowers. So I'm going to do a page with these flowers, um, I think when we get to either first or second Corinthians, um, it's gonna be about growth, and so I'm gonna do like a flower page. So you'll see these come back up. So if you wanna you know, put some of these together this morning, then we can um, uh, use them in a future page, or you can use them on any page. I mean, we're gonna be using flowers um, probably, um, I think Diane said the next month or so um, on our, in our spreads. So good morning, Lynn, good morning, y'all. Okay, so all you need is any kind of punches. Now, if you don't have punches, don't worry, but I have like one of these punches. It's got the scalloped edge and that's um, what this flower looks like right here. Whoops, sorry, get it in camera, y'all. <laughs> um, so you can use a scallop punch. You can use a big hole punch if you have one. You can use a little hole punch if you have one. Or if you are very dexterous with your fingers, you could use a teeny tiny hole punch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna attempt that. Those whole, those those circles will be so tiny. I don't think I can do that with my fingers. Uh, or if you don't have a hole punch, if you have just like a circle template, you can do that. Or you can just freeform cut them out with your scissors. I mean, just it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's just easier if you have a punch. Um, if you don't have any of these, you can also use star punches. You would have pointy petals instead. Um, you can use a heart punch. You would have like the heart on the outside instead. So let me grab a pencil. If you used a heart punch, your petals would look like this. Y'all, I can't draw very well. <laughs> but that's what your petals would look like. If you use a star punch, you know, your petals would look like that around the outside. So whatever punch you have, if you have one, you can just, you could use that. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Okay, so there are a variety of ways you can do these. I'll show you how to put them together, but you can make big ones. You can make medium ones. And you can make small ones, or you can even go tinier than this if you want. Um, and then you can just decorate them any way you want. So they're super easy. You can also make little dangles. I'll show you how to make these. It's exactly how we did our love clips with some eyelets, jump rings, some chain if you have it, or string or ribbon or whatever you have. And then, you know, like a, a big flower, a little flower, or you can, you can cluster flowers together if you want. You can also make clips, and this is really easy. I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you want to clip one to the top of your Bible page like this and have a dangle, it could clip like that. Or if you just want a clip, one clip, or you can actually like glue a bunch of flowers together like this with the clip. You can, and then like, you know, that could be glued together and then clip it to the top of your page. I might do, I, I'm actually, now that I'm talking about it, I might do one like that for the top of a page, a clip like that. So there's, I mean, you just, there's no limit to your creativity on what you can do with these. You can make um, tip-ins for your Bible. And what I mean by a tip-in is if you have a page like this in your Bible and you, um, you know, like it flips open, you can do like huge flowers on this if you want and have them hanging over, you know, like on the outside of your Bible if you want and have like a big uh, flower cluster. And I actually <laughs> might do one of those as well. Like here's like your tip-in. It's like tipped in your Bible like this. And like these kind of hang out like this and then it'll flip so you know I mean there's so many things you can do with these y'all so many things so let's get started I'll show you how to make them okay <laughs> Kathy you think this is cute yeah and they're so easy to make y'all don't get intimidated they're very very easy to make so okay let me move all these and we'll begin I'll show you how we can make these We'll just keep these, I guess, over here. Let's see, can you see them on camera if I put them right here? So you can kind of see them. Okay, so let me move that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna do 
use this, um, uh, whatever, punch, this punch, <laughs> and that makes this size flower, okay? This bigger punch, this scalloped one, made this big flower. So that can kind of give you an idea of the size. So it just depends on what kind of circle punches you're using. Okay, so the first thing you do is just get any kind of scrap paper and you're gonna punch or cut out one circle. Boop, just like that. <laughs> um, and actually, I'm gonna do a music one first. So you can use book pages. Here is like one of my old uh, hymn books. And you can use book pages like we did in our clips. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, y'all. Just, you know, when I get on camera, I lose all sense of vocabulary. Okay, so what I would do with this, if I'm going to use these pages, because they're very thin, I would put them together and glue them together. So if you're going to use any kind of pages from either, you know, a book or him or something just glue the pages together just it makes it easier because they're very very thin pages and so I just go in with my glue stick if I can get the glue out you know just haphazardly throw the glue on it doesn't matter <laughs> okay and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my scissors and just cut off like the white parts because I don't want that part. I want it all to be the music. So then I go in with my punch and figure out, and you're going to cut out five. And I want like different kinds of, um, I don't know, images, I guess. How many did I do? There's five, that's it. Easy peasy, just like that. <laughs> okay, so you got five. So you have your base right here, and then you've got five petals. These are your petals. And then however you want to ink it, you don't have to ink it, you can emboss these, you can emboss the sides with embossing powder, and I would do that when you get the whole, um, when you get the whole flower together, it's easier to emboss the edges if you want. Um, you can ink it up. I'm going to do this one with seedless preserves. So whatever ink you have and pick which side you want up. And then I'm just going to ink all these. It's easier to do it before you put your flower together. Okay, wait, what are y'all saying y'all? I'm missing this. <laughs> You're talking too fast. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know, Kathy. I sold a ton of my punches as well, and then now I'm like, oh, I should have kept them all. So, yes, hoarding does pay off, Diane. <laughs> um, oh, stay away from Hobby Lobby right now. All the Tim Holtz stuff is on 40% off. The other day I went, and, and it depends on which Hobby Lobby. Some Hobby Lobbies are having the Tim Holtz stuff on clearance. I got these Distress Oxides for $1.50, y'all, when they were on clearance. It was crazy. So I picked up as many as they had. Um, this is one of the new ones. I love this color, y'all. I'm going to be using this on everything. It's the purple. I love it. Yeah, Diane, say you need a mental vacation and you need to go to Hobby Lobby to get your head back on straight. That's what I, <laughs> I start freaking out at my husband and I'm like, I got I to gotta go somewhere. I got to go shopping. I have to. Like, it's, it's life or death for you if I don't go shopping. So that's... <laughs> I'm like, I need to get out. I need to go do something. Okay, y'all. Then you're going to take your glue. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look at that glue. You're going to take your glue, whatever glue you have. Got to get this started. That's still a good deal, Cindy. $2.99 on clearance is still a good deal. It was $1.49 here. And it's very rare that that happens. So when it happens, yeah, I'm going to grab it. Y'all, my, my hands are shaking because I had coffee this morning. And I hardly ever drink coffee. Oh, and I'm like, I'm going off. Okay, so then you're going to just start gluing your petals down. So you place one like this, place the other one on top like that, and just kind of go around. Place the other one on top like that. It doesn't matter if the words are upside down or not. It really doesn't matter. Place the next one on top like that. And then this one, you're going to stick it under this one and on top of this one, if that makes sense. So they're all kind of 
like that. And then you just, um, you know, place them, fiddle around with them and make them so they're all like in a circle even. And there's your flower, y'all. Easy as that. That is it. See, there's your back. And there's your flower. So I let that sit for just a tad because it gets glue everywhere. And then um, I'm gonna go back in now. I'm gonna flip this one up and just put some extra glue on and squeeze that down and just go around and do the same thing to all your petals. Well, Diane, let us know if you find any good deals when you go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I am in so many journaling and Bible journaling and junk journaling and mixed media journaling groups. And anytime there's a sale, people will announce it. And I'm like, oh, it can get so dangerous. Okay, see, my fingers are getting the ink everywhere at this point because of the glue. But it doesn't matter. It just gives your flower some more color. Some more color. Okay, and that is it. So let's do another one because let's do a smaller one with that because I'm gonna I might do that hanging one with a small one so let's do a smaller one now I don't have a smaller punch other than the really tiny one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my circle thing you could put something in the middle to, oh yeah 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 so I'll show you how to decorate them so what you can do well again I'm gonna do a smaller one for the middle so let's do steadfast love right here. So I'm just gonna cut this one out real quick. So you can cut out a circle for the middle. You can, um, I'll show you other things that you can do. You can decorate the middle any way you want. Usually I like putting a circle in the middle first, but you don't have to. And I do the same thing. I just grab my ink. Hi, Susan. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just jump in whenever. I'm going to do a few of these so you'll see how it works. Okay, so then the circle goes in the middle. If you want to put a circle, you don't have to put a circle. Just put some glue. Then you got your circle. Boom. And there is that. So now, this one I didn't put a circle. You can see I had these little petals. And then a little, um, I hope my... My, my camera's maybe over here. I have my phone upside down, y'all. <laughs> um, so the circle, uh, I didn't, well, I think I did. I did put a circle in here. You can see the circle there. I had some of these flower petals and then like this little uh, brad gem that I stuck in. So you can, you can do that. This one, I had these little, um, these uh, little, I don't know what you'd call them. They call them jewel border stickers. I got these from the dollar store and I just like cut them apart. They're, they come in one big border, but you can cut them apart if you want. And so that one, whoop, I keep forgetting my camera's over here. <laughs> um, I put that one in the middle here. You can put uh, these little stickles. So I have uh, these little uh, stickle or uh, glitter glue. If you have glitter glue, you can stick that in the middle. This one, I just stuck a little like pop dot sticker in the middle. This one, I have little stickers, little flower stickers. And then these, um, I did some cheesecloth. So just grab some cheesecloth or material or lace, whatever you have. And then um, just cut like a little piece off. And this one I dot, like I um, inked up with my inking tool and then just stuck that on. And then I had these little butterfly stickers. So you can stick bugs or whatever on your flowers. So this one's a butterfly. So you all are talking. Oh, Diane, don't worry about it. Just we'll catch you later. Say hi to Lucas. This one um, I put the cheesecloth, a circle, some of the stickles, and then a little ladybug on it see this one just some stickles this one just a little like pearl pop dot pearl thing so you can literally put whatever you want on the middle of these so you just get creative with whatever you have you can paint them like i said you can emboss these with embossing powder stick it in your versa mark and then emboss the edges super easy so okay let's make another one of these small ones now um Okay, so the easiest way for this is I'll fold this and then double cut it because I don't want to have to cut each individual one out. So I'm going to make, 
let's see, maybe one about this size. So I'm gonna So just do three because you only you need five of these. So I'm gonna cut these out and so that by doubling the page up, I'm actually cutting out two at a time. You can like fold it multiple times if you want to cut even more out all at once, and then it just makes it faster. Um, the chains, Kathy, I get the chains well from a variety of places. You can get them on Amazon. Um, let me grab. So these chains, you can get you can get them like this. Um, I think it's 10 meters. You can get them from Amazon, um, different colors. You can get silver, gold, antique, and a couple other ones. Um, Amazon or AliExpress or, or any craft store. I mean, you can buy these at any craft store. Um, a lot of these chains like, like this one, um, I got, this one was from AliExpress, I think, cause it's all Chinese writing here. <laughs> so this one was AliExpress. Um, but a lot of times I will get chains with, uh, from my closet because <laughs> I have a ton of like costume jewelry. So I'll pull apart some of my jewelry when I'm at garage sales or estate sales or anybody's throwing out their jewelry or whatever. I'll say, give it to me, you know, like if it's broken or whatever. And I will literally just cannibalize like junk jewelry. And so I'll pull the chains apart. I'll pull the, um, the, uh, the beads off, I'll cut off the clasps, anything that I can use, cause I do junk journaling and stuff and I'm always using all the little pieces. So I will cut everything apart <laughs> and cannibalize, just like my clothes. Like if I'm looking for a certain type of lace or something and I can't find it, I literally go in my closet y'all and I will find something that I like and I'll just cut apart my clothes. If I, if I don't wear it a lot, if it's like one of those things that's just been sitting there, I'll cut apart my clothes or I'll go to the thrift store on the 50 cent day um, thrift stores are great to find costume jewelry. Sometimes they'll sell them in bags of jewelry for like $5 for a huge bag of jewelry. And then I'll just buy that and then I'll bring it home and just tear it all apart. And I'll put the beads in like a, you know, a little bag and I'll put the chains in a different bag. And so that's, that's just how I get it for super, super cheap. But, um, you can, yes, you can cut with regular scissors, but these are so big when I'm cutting these little round circles, it's just easier for me to cut with this. But yeah, you can cut with whatever's easier for you, cut with. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I only need five of these. Let's pick the best five. Oh, that one's cute. This one I want music on, let's see. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be my middle piece. So, you know, my, the one that I'm gonna glue to. So yeah, I try to find stuff the cheapest way um, I possibly can, y'all. Because, you know, I try not to buy anything at all. <laughs> but if I need to, I'll, I'll try to find the cheapest way. And the, the best way I found for material, for lace, for you know, stuff like junk jewelry is the thrift store. The one over here by me um, has 50 cent day. Um, and I'll go and do that. That seems to be the best. Yes, the yellow scissors are called Cutter Bee scissors uh, this one actually this one's got two this one I'm missing a piece aha I'm gonna glue this one together because it was like only one piece and it's better if you've got the double side it's better if it's thicker easier to work with now if you're using cardstock or anything you don't need that you don't need to double it up I know, you guys, this is super tiny, I know. I'm trying to, so you can see it. Okay, so you're gonna put glue on your middle piece. Again, and then just start placing your petals. So you got one here, and just start putting on top of each other all the way around. This is gonna be such a tiny flower. And then the last one you're gonna put underneath and on top, like on top of the first one, underneath the second one. So it, they're all the same. And then just adjust your flower until it's like where you want it to be. You know, move your petals around, stick it real good. And then if you need to go back in, you can flip the petals up and then put the glue down. This is when you get messy and you get glue everywhere. 
unless you have one of those really fine tip glues, which I don't. Oops, <laughs> there went the pedal. Stick it back in. Okay, we'll let that dry a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this and just punch a little, let's see, a little music hole if I can get to a music piece. Oh my gosh, that's super tiny. Oh, what is this? Stick it in the middle. You have a ton of round punches well that's awesome then you can make a ton of different kind of flowers different size flowers you can make big ones you can make giant flowers if you've got big you know use these huge circles you know you can make big giant flowers you can make all different sizes and then these will I'll show you other things that you can use how you can use them okay so before you start decorating them the easiest thing to do if you want to make these into a clip um, grab any kind of paper clip because you're not even going to see it. Well, you'll see it on the other side of the paper, but okay, if I can get these open. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to grab pink since it's pink. <laughs> okay, grab some scrap paper. Where's my, okay, grab some like just white scrap paper. You're going to clip the clip. It doesn't have to be white. It could be whatever color. I just have white. You're going to clip the clip. And then you're gonna kind of cut it down a little so it's gonna fit behind your flower so you want to make sure it's you figure out which way you want your flower to be up and down and so then you might want to kind of round it off a little and so it'll fit behind your flower let's see I want my flower to go like that okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue on this part and you're gonna stick it on and this is why you don't want anything on the front because you need to press this hard and get this on here really well so you're gonna like then turn it over and just really start pressing it hard now you don't have glue on this side so that's gonna be fine this is the side that's gonna clip to the page sense y'all <laughs> okay so you want to hold this down really well and get that glue on there and again like I said if you want to make this into a bigger clip you can start oh, where's my little flower you can like maybe glue once you get them all decorated you can start gluing a bunch of flowers together like this and just have the clip on one flower and now you, you have like a, a bigger clip sticking out of your Bible you understand what I'm saying glue all these together and then this will clip to the top of your Bible and then you'll have like a multiple flower layer thing. I might make one of those this afternoon. Okay, so once that's on there, you, that's your clip. So that's how you make this into a clip. So you can just leave it like this and then decorate it and make just have one flower as a clip for the top of your Bible or the side of your Bible or whatever. So here, this is what it'll look like in your Bible. There you go, there's your clip. Once you get it all decorated like that and like i said you can have other flowers like glued to this maybe make a bunch of little flowers or whatever and you can have like this multi level layer flower clip okay so now now you want to decorate so let me move all this so you just got to figure out really how you want to decorate it do you want to put let me grab all my stuff And this is just some ideas of what you can decorate with. You can decorate with like little stickers. These are a little too big. Like if you made a big flower, you could stick like, like this little butterfly on like a big flower like that. Oh, that was really cute. I might do that. <laughs> um, and then, you know, you have these little ones. If you have little butterfly stickers, you can stick um, little butterflies on your flowers or little bugs. I've got these little bug stickers. Um, here's some more. These were what I was putting in the middle, these little flower things. So actually I might let's see what that looks like. I don't know if 
I like that one. I don't know. I think I like this one better. Then I have these little, these I got from the dollar store as well, Crafter Square. These are little uh, kind of like pop dot um, stickers, I guess. Might make that a purple or pink. You can do. Okay, I definitely want pink on this one. This one I did like a pearl on it. This one I might just do the, I like the pearl, this stuff. So yeah, you can decorate these any way you want. So this stuff, um, these are the stickles, or so if you have any of this, um, this is the diamond stickles. Um, this is what it looks like when it's dry. Looks like that. Can y'all see that? Um, then, uh, let's see. So this one I did like three of them. I'm gonna do that, three. Um, or if you have like glitter glue, anything like that. But the problem with these now, you ha if you're gonna do this, you have to let it sit to the side and dry because they take a while to dry. So we are gonna place that one and let it sit for a while. So if you wanna make this chain part, I probably should have done that after I made the chain. Well, we'll I can start working with it. So, okay, if you want to make this, that's what I'm gonna do with this. You're gonna punch two holes here. So grab your uh, crocodile and just make sure you don't touch that stickles part. <laughs> and you wanna put one there and one there. I mean, it doesn't have to be two. You can do this any way you want. It just, I, if you want the two chains hanging like that, two of them. And then you're gonna punch one at the top of your other little flower and then grab your eyelets. This time I'm gonna do white. I'm running out of black, y'all, so black would've looked cool on here, but I'm gonna do white. And then just use your little crocodile and set your eyelet. Y'all still with me? <laughs> ah! Okay, oh yay, okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Thought I was gonna mess up all my stickles. I mean, if you do, you can just wipe it off and redo it. It's not that big of a deal, but. Okay, so then set your eyelets. And there you go. So that is an eyelet. People have been asking, what's the difference between an eyelet and a jump ring? These are eyelets. These little things that you're, you know, those little round things that you put in. Now a jump ring are these. These are what attach your um, chain through the eyelet, unless you want to attach the chain, but some of the chains are hard to open up the chain links. So you're gonna need three jump rings for this. And then whatever chain you want. So grab your chain. I'm just been using this silver chain. Oh y'all, I'm just throwing this all over the place. Okay, let me move all this stuff. Okay, move y'all. So you want to figure out how long you want and I don't want this too long so I am just going to grab my pliers and just figure out maybe about that long so I'm just gonna try to pull this apart okay, just like that put my chain back and then you're gonna take your jump ring And you're gonna put your jump ring through the first. Can y'all see this? Let me see if I can get close. You're gonna put your jump ring through that first link in your chain. And then you're gonna put it through your eyelet here. And then just close your jump ring up, just like that. So if you just wanted one chain hanging, you can do one chain. You can have flowers hanging down this whole thing if you want. You could do a flower hanging here, a flower hanging, like you could do a long chain if you want. It doesn't have to be, I mean, you can do a variety of things. So you can have, you know, a chain here attached to a flower and then another chain here attached to a flower and then you can have another little flower at the bottom. I mean, again, whatever your imagination comes up with, 
that is what you can do. So you can have you can have a whole thing of dangles hanging down if you want. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing then with the other link. I'm gonna put it through the very last link of this one and then put this through the eyelet and then close your jump ring up. So there you go. So then you're gonna find the link that's the, the bottom link try to find the one that so it's so it hangs nice and even so I hold it up to try to find my bottom link which should be this one the, the link that's like hanging at the very very bottom and sometimes you can't tell so just get like one of those links if I can get it come on oh where did it go y'all did you see where it went there it is ah uh. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, y'all. I can do this, I know I can. And y'all have to pray for me. My stomach is growling. I am trying to lose weight. <laughs> trying to lose weight. So then put it through your other jump ring or eyelet down here. And my stomach does not recognize anything that's healthy. Because <laughs> I always joke and say my diet is literally cheese, chocolate, and bread. And it's not really a joke because that's really kind of what I eat. And so when I eat vegetables and fruit and all that, my stomach is like, uh, no, this is not food. And it starts growling all day. So <laughs> it's growling right now, y'all. It's not that I'm starving myself, but it's, I'm eating healthy food and my, like, my body just does it. My body is like, uh, no, that's not food. We don't like that food. <laughs> we, want, we want regular food. <sighs> but yeah, this COVID thing, I, I gained way too much weight, so I need to lose weight. Even my rings, like this one's barely fit. And I'm like, okay, that's it. That is it, y'all. So here's your chain dangle. I wanted it a little shorter. If you want shorter, you can pull off um, some more chain links. You can have it shorter if you want. I might do that. So I wanted one longer, one shorter, and I was trying to go for shorter and it didn't work there. But you could always just pull off some chain links and make it shorter. So there's that one. You don't have to do that. You can just make them into clips. If that's all you want to do, make them into clips. And now that I'm seeing it, okay, so I put these here. And make sure like your clip is up and down straight from your chains because you want it clip to clip on and you want this to hang straight. Does that make sense, y'all? Make sure your clip is up and down this way where your chain is. So it'll hang straight in your Bible or book or whatever. Okay, so that's that one. I'm gonna do a couple of these with the flaky stuff and then I'll show you a few things you can do, some other things you can do with these. So I have, so <laughs> you need supplies, Kathy. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, I have this like watercolor paper. It's from a book and it's like watercolor. So I love this look. So I am going to, where'd my punch go? I'm gonna make a, a couple more of these. That's what I made out of those. So let's, and I like the little odd areas of the color. So it looks all watercolory. So that's, you know, kind of go for those, the parts you like. And then if you want to get closer to like you know just cut that paper off and then go to the other area that you like i love that color and then let's do i like this um come on and then i'm also going to punch a base piece out it doesn't have to be white it could be the same color paper whatever you want I just do it white because it's just easier and then this one I'm going to do with brown like just to kind of match these so this is brushed corduroy and it just gives it a little t tinge of brown on the edges not much my ink is this one's starting to run out I think I need to refresh it So, yeah, I need to get involved in like a weight loss group <laughs> or something. I need some motivation, y'all. 
Uh, it's like the worst thing ever. And my husband, of course, will be like, I'm going to go get some pie. You want some? Or let's do pizza tonight. Or let's, and I'm just like, stop. Because he can literally just say, oh, I'm going to lose weight this week. And then two days later, he's like, oh, wow, I dropped 10 pounds. I'm just like, shush. I don't want to hear it. It's not fair. Be quiet. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, since I have this paper out, I am going to... Yes, you can use small buttons for the center. Yes, anything you have. You can use ribbon. You can use, um, I'm just gonna cut like a little circle out as the best I can, free form for the middle. Um, yeah, I saw one with buttons. It was very, very cute. And they even sewed, um, like if you, you, can get, you can get as involved as you want with these. You can, you know, get them really, oh my gosh, that is a wonky circle. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. But yeah, you can get as involved as you want with um, with how you want to decorate these up. I've seen um, the pages uh, done with embossed pages. So, you know, like the raised patterns. And then they inked them up and, they, and then they embossed them with embossing powder. I mean, you, you can really zha these up as much as you want. I've seen some with like gems on them. They put like all these like really pretty gems on them. So yeah, literally however you want to do it. But yeah, buttons would look really, really cute in the middle. And then if you even want to put thread in it and make like a little bow in the middle on the button, that would look really cute. So again, you just put your pedal down, pedal on top, and just keep working your way around. Pedal on top. Let's do another orange, pedal on top. And then this one's going to slide under that one and stay on top of that one. And then you're just going to adjust your pedals so they're all like where you want them and squish down. Yes, stitching around each pedal would look like it was quilted. Yes, but I, I'm not even going to attempt that unless it was a big one like this. <laughs> I am not even going to attempt trying to stitch around these little tiny circles. I am not that good with the sewing machine. If you can do that, oh my gosh, I would love to see that. Um, yeah, I cannot, not with these little teeny tiny circles. I just couldn't, maybe I can do like a random stitch, <laughs> you know, but yeah, yeah, I think that would look beautiful if you can do that. So I'm just putting the glue around all those, sticking them down really good. I'm going to toss this one and then I'm going to stick this in the middle. And again, you don't have to put a circle in the middle, only if you want. And with this one, I am going to, where did my stickers go? I'll put this sticker that I had. Oop, the whole thing came off. I'll put that one on there. And then since if you, if any of you got, um, the flakes that we, we used on some of our other Bible journaling pages. This is another thing you can use them on. So I'm just going to use it. Um, if you don't have the flakes, if you have the foil, you can put some glue on here and, and rub some foil on. If you, um, I don't know, you can use embossing powder, whatever you want. So I'm, what am I doing? I'm going to grab some glue sticks and just swipe some glue in different areas. And then open my bag if I can open it. <laughs> open my bag and just grab a couple little pieces and stick them on stick them wherever the glue is and then rub it off and then just you can do this with a brush again I just do it with my finger it's just okay let's move you And then just rub it in different areas if you want that like kind of frayed look if you want it to look you know solid then keep it solid I like having like little patches and then if you know there's other areas that you want some just put some more glue and just add more but it takes just a very tiny amount of this stuff it does get a little messy but it's kind of fun to play with y'all I've been having fun with this since I got this And 
And I just got a jelly plate as well. And so I'm going to be playing with that tomorrow. I literally just got it. I've been wanting one. Um, my husband brought me home one. And um, I'm going to play with it. And then I'm going to do a Bible page using it so y'all can see. But I am so new. I've never used it before. So it'll be totally new. Okay, I want a little bit more on this petal. And then I'm done. Thanks, Susan. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Um, so yes, yeah, you see how easy these are? You can literally have um, like an assembly line going on and punch like 100 circles and then just put them all together and then just go down the line and decorate them. But there's so many things you can do with these. So there's that one. So now I have a bunch of these, like a variety um, and I was gonna kind of put some together on a page. So um, let me see what else. Okay, so you can do that. I have these too. Um, these are those little, I think they were Tim Holtz. Uh, uh, what are those? The things that you put your through your cystics machine, die cuts, die cuts, these are die cuts. So I have a set of Tim Holtz die cuts and they make these little, uh, little teeny tiny flowers. So on one of my pages, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna do a, a growth page or a um, page with these flowers that we're making. Um, and like if you wanted to do on, on one of your pages, like you can put these flowers down and then just draw like, I don't know, you know, whatever. And if you wanted to do like that loose um, watercolor, that just means you just slap the watercolor on, like the green will go here and you don't really like form the, the leaf. You just throw some watercolor on and then you draw a leaf in, if that makes sense. Um, but you can do like a whole, whole page of these, you know, whatever. And then um, I was gonna like maybe put some of these and maybe do some stenciling. So I'm just giving you like a preview of what I'm gonna be doing on one of my growth, whoops, on one of my growth pages. Um, growing in Christ or something like that with these flowers and then have um, the little clip at the top or whatever. I might do like a multi-layered clip like I was showing y'all, put something like that together. So I'm thinking of doing something like that on a page. So if you have anything like this, you can, you can combine them, but you can just make a page just with these. <sighs> That's really about it. But so here are a variety of ways you can decorate them. Told you it would be a quick live. I mean, they're so easy to make, but there's so many um, varieties that you can, you know, how you can make them. But that's how you put the, the um, clip on the back, the paper clip. So if you, and you don't have to have any of this stuff. If you just wanna make these in the clips, you can make them into big clips or just make a variety of these flowers. And that's it. I'm trying to think what else. Any other questions? Another thing you can do, I forgot I had these. These are those little bulb pins. Um, I think I got these on Amazon. So they, they look like this, these little bulb pins. So if you wanted to, you can just punch like a little hole in one of your flowers. Let's just say. And then put your clip through like that and then you have like a little dangle like that and then if you had like lace on your page or something that you can clip this to it can hang like that as well so you can have um, little clips like this or if you have any kind of safety pins anything like that you can do that oh Kathy I'm glad you enjoy it it's not my idea though y'all like I said at the beginning I mean these have been doing these have been around forever you don't have to do them with circle punches you can do them with heart punches, star punches, whatever punch you have. Um, you'll just have different kind of petals. But this is a great way to use up your scrap paper. If you have any, your book pages, your music paper. I really like these music ones. I might do a page as well, music ones, and maybe some of these. Because these are my favorite colors. I, I need to make some more little tinier flowers. Um, but yeah, you can make them all different sizes. Whatever punches you have, whatever, um, you know, circle templates you have I was thinking of doing like a black and white one too with this paper and alternate like do one petal this one petal that so I'm gonna put those together and see what those look like maybe with some silver embossing around the edge 
but yeah, you can just play with these. I'm going to be playing with these pretty much all afternoon, y'all, <laughs> and making a variety of them. I'm going to put some music on and just do, this is something that you can do while you're watching TV or have music on and not even think. Just start punching out, like I said, all your little round um, circles and just put it all together. So thank you all so much for joining me. Any other questions? I'm excited to see what y'all come up with. But like I said, make a few of these if you want. Um, we're going to be um, using these in a video that I will put together probably when we get to 1 Corinthians. Somewhere in Corinthians, I'm thinking I'm going to do a growth page with these flowers. So um, yeah, if you want to put some of these together and have them on the side, then you'll be ready for that page already. And I'll, that one, I'll probably use some like stenciling of flowers in the background. And then, like I said, maybe some of these little die cuts and, you know, some ink and just put together the page. So thank you all for joining me. I'll give you a couple seconds. Let if, Any other questions? Hope you all have a very, very blessed day. I'm trying. It's lunchtime here. And my stomach is letting me know. <laughs> Help, help. <laughs> Aw, thank you, y'all. I'm trying to read the comments from here with my glasses. Well, you're all very, very welcome. So, again, have a blessed day. Enjoy this. Have fun. Take some pictures of what you come up with because I want some other ideas. I love your creativity, so I want to see what y'all come up with. And I'll see you guys later. Have a very blessed day. Bye, y'all.